So hi guys, welcome back to the shop. It's been a while since we last knocked out a video on this channel. Uh, I'll explain some of that to you in a little minute. Uh, we're coming today from the new shop because we moved house last year and I had a workshop built. It's not finished inside yet. Um, but I'll, I'll do a, a little quick tour of where we're at and then we're going to go on to a little project video this morning of uh, a restoration of the brand saw top. Uh, so without further ado I'll give you a quick little tour around the shop, it'll take a couple of seconds and uh, we'll get cracking on the video. See you in a minute. So this is the new shop that I had built uh, and I got that built last year. So this is the shop, nothing is in the right place at the moment. And the reason for that will become apparent in a minute when I tell you. And that's down to also the reason why I haven't made any videos, especially of the new shop, since we got it. So we've got the drill press there, we've got the lathe set up on an old table. That's actually my old outfeed table, there's a video on that somewhere. Uh, there's the bandsaw, which we're going to deal with in a minute. We've got a tool wall at the back. We've got a router table there. We've got a, a folding picnic table with the sanders on. And at the moment, my chop saw is on a stand here. Have a table saw, and we've got this little cabinet at the back serving as an outfit table and storage. So that's a very brief um, tour of the shop. Right, so quick explanation as to the lack of videos. Um, so we bought the house in, I think it was October 2022, and we moved in in the November. And there was no shop here at the time, so we had to wait until I think it was February. Um, and we got the, uh, the the floor installed, and then the guys came a couple of weeks later and threw up the shed in a day. And then the guys had to come back in then with the second pour for the concrete. Um, so that was all done, and that was at the end of February of last year. Um, middle of March of last year, um, I had a back injury, which set me off work for a couple of months. Um, and when I did recover, um, I had problems with my legs um, and I had problems walking. I was walking around on a crutch for quite a while. So I wasn't doing any project work, I wasn't doing much woodworking. Um, I was just concentrating on getting um, recovery and getting back right again. Um, I was finally ready to go back to the markets in sort of October, uh, sorry, November time. We had a couple of markets over November and a couple over Christmas and uh, we did okay, it wasn't too bad, but it was nice to get back into it. So I thought we'd do a quick video today uh, just to get something back onto the channel again. And a couple of weeks ago I did a, I came into the workshop and found that there was rust on my table saw and my bandsaw. And I got it all cleaned up and looked all lovely and there's a picture of how it used to look um, a couple of weeks ago. But I didn't have any um, wax to finish it off with. And of course it's been really cold here recently, it was down to minus eight. And it's also been raining ever since. So what's happened is the top of the table saw is now covered in rust and today we are gonna solve that problem. So as you can see, there's this patina of rust on the top of the bandsaw now and it was all lovely and shiny. Um, and that's just down because we had nothing to protect the, side, the surface of the, the metal when it was last cleaned up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the blade. So we'll have a quick, uh, super fast montage for you. And we'll just hang that up somewhere there, out of the way for now. Two sides, and on one side I'm going to use this Rustin's Rust Remover. And on the other side, I'm going to use WD-40 and some sanding paper. And we'll see which one does the better job. On this side, I'm going to use WD-40. And just wipe that clean. That's done a fairly good job, but I don't know if you noticed over time that this has disappeared all the rust altogether, which is quite surprising as I was concentrating on this bit, I didn't notice that bit. So now we're going to hit it up with some um, 
very fine wire wool. Just break a little bit off there. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see very well on here, but there's a tide mark here, and this is the side where the WD 40 was, and this was the side where the rust in rust remover was, and you can actually see a line where the other two were, and if you feel the two, you can actually feel the difference between it. This side is a lot smoother than that side. You can actually feel more resistance. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to hit this with the WD-40 and the sanding paper. I'm going to put some wax on that. <laughs> Right, so that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Do appreciate it. It's nice to see you all back. Um, we'll come back to this in a day or two, and uh, maybe a week, and we'll just see if that patina has stayed nice and clean. Hopefully, that beeswax will uh, give it a bit of a, a layer keep that moisture off it. Anyway, nice to see you all and I will see you again on the next one and thanks very much for watching and take care and good luck.